these a couple months ago and they were called Talking with Tammy and then all my friends and I got together last weekend and my nickname is Tiger and so they were like, you know what, you should do Tiger Talks. So as of right now, we are officially changing the name. So it's Tiger Talks. So I hope you're cool with that. Change is always difficult, but I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> so anyway, what I want to talk about today is something that I learned from my dad. He comes up a lot. I know you know that. Um, he always talked about being the captain of your own ship when I was growing up. And I always was kind of wondering what that was and how to be the captain of my own ship. And finally at 46, I kind of have been enlightened to that. So I want to talk a little bit about that with you. Um, really in your life, you want to be the captain of your own ship because you want to be in charge of your own life. So that's really important. Um, a couple things that have come though for me in like selling real estate is, is that we have the owners of houses and sometimes you have to hire a captain to get you through a process that you need. So what we do in real estate is people hire us to captain their ship. They still own their ship and they make the final decisions, but they use us to help get through a really difficult process that they don't know as much about. So one of the things that I think also in the captain of the ship is important is in different areas of your life. Like where do you need a captain or where do you need to be a captain? Because sometimes you need to hire a captain to help you, which is what we do when you're selling real estate, or sometimes you need a therapist or sometimes you need a financial guide and that's okay because you're still the owner of yourself. One thing that I've been doing though with my kids, I have four kids, um, ages uh, seven to 14, is making sure that I'm the captain of the ship with them. I read this book by Susan Stiffelman called Parenting with Presence. I think it's a good book. It's a must read for any parent. But one of the things that she really said was, kids need us to be the captain of our own ship. So I'm gonna give you a quick example because I think examples are really good. So my daughter, all of my kids and I were in Maui and my one daughter was being, I don't know, she was kind of being bossy and like cold and, and hot to me and a little bit back and forth. And so what happened is she, my older daughter came up to me and she goes, oh, you know, she goes, she talked about her sister. She goes, she's really working you mom. And I thought to myself, I thought, because I'm not being the captain of this family ship. So I went and I talked to that daughter and I said, hey, you know, the cold and the hot with me isn't going to work. We're a family. We need to get along and we need to keep moving forward. And she looked at me and she winked and she goes, ah, I just wanted you to say that to me. I needed you to say something to me. Just remember in life, you are the captain of your own ship. And with your kids, they need a captain. I think that's really important. I think that book, Parenting with Presence, would be a great, is always a great read. And I think also in life, make sure you're the captain of your own ship. It's good to be. Thanks so much, and I hope you enjoyed Tiger Talks.